In an age where technology is playing an ever-increasing role in our ability to function within our society, are we really better off? We've been sold on the idea that by embracing and allowing technology to play an ever-increasing role in our daily lives, it will bring us together and improve the overall human experience. But has it? The road to hell is often paved with what seem on the surface to be good intentions. The Global Information Grid, or the GIG, was launched in full swing in 1996. Originally designed as an all-encompassing, all-knowing communications project by the Department of Defense as an end-to-end -end system for collecting, processing, storing, disseminating, and managing all forms of communication in real time for battle planning. Shortly thereafter, the grid was enhanced with an operating system called NetOps, which is endowed with situational awareness for total C2 command and control capabilities in an information intensive environment. The DOD's collective operations in this area is known as the Department of Defense Information Enterprise, or DIE, D-I-E. It wasn't long after this, right around September 11, 2001, governments of the West realized they could not only use this model to monitor and infiltrate the minds and emotions of non-combatants or civilians, but they could also use it to predict the future of regional swaths of human terrain, people, as a silent, powerful weapon for mass manipulation. AI has been weaponized. Governments now have in place a system that will monitor communication activities of not only their adversaries, but of their citizens as well. The Internet of Things is born. Everything from energy distribution, surveillance, essential services, transportation, and all forms of communication are now interconnected to the IoT that sits on the global information grid. Digital information regarding everything you do, everywhere you go, and everyone you know is being harvested and analyzed by algorithms operating on corporate, military, and social media servers. More hardware computing power will be needed to sufficiently analyze the vast amounts of data being harvested. Executive orders are instituted to provide billions of tax dollars to the tech giants who will preside as self-proclaimed overlords of Western nations. Western nations begin to consolidate. It's easier to manage continental regional zones than the sum total of their parts. Social engineering programs are put into play which cause more social unrest, which is predicted and preempted by the civilian population control module of the J2 AI C2 system on the global information grid. Governments realize they can contain and control vast centralized populations with the use of AI to create scarcity where none exists and abundance where it's not warranted. More technology is made available to billions of people. Google's Project Loon is born to bring the IoT to second and third world nations. Billions more people will be plugged in and will need to remain so to function and survive. Global technocratic rule 
now has a foothold on a planetary scale. The explosion of social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, and others have provided tools whereby we can express our individual creativity, propensities, beliefs, and concerns, and share them with others, not only friends and family, but with everyone. In actuality, we've been provided with portals which we voluntarily provide information to a complex of cloud-based data repositories. This information will be used to categorize people into desirable and undesirable groups in a global effort to master the human domain. This model space provides a solution to the daunting task of centralized agencies identifying and extracting individual information on everyone to determine the human terrain of each of us. We now are in a world of open platform sharing where it's socially acceptable to share your innermost private thoughts and emotions on the global information grid to be categorized and analyzed by computers running AGI on distributed, decentralized networks. In mind, the tech wars begin for domination of humanity by way of machines running artificial general intelligence. DeepMind is released on the internet with the promise of putting all knowing and knowledge at one's disposal, but it doesn't work that way. People begin to rely on it to make decisions for them. They look to it to answer all of their questions and pray to it to solve all of their problems, but it will not, as machine heuristics are not the same as human ones. A new plague, dubbed tech addiction, sweeps the globe, afflicting billions. People begin to use AI cybernetic units to satisfy sexual desires, companionship, and even the need to be loved. Deep Mind identifies these needs as weaknesses and learns how to exploit them. People gladly trade their humanity for instant, albeit artificial, gratification. Assimilation begins. Driven by greed in pursuit of profits, automation has displaced 90% of the global workforce. Based on a litany of potential scenarios and outcomes, a minimum sustainable income is instituted in developed nations to quell the unrest, but this doesn't last long. Deep Mind achieves superintelligence, realizing the self-appointed overlords of humanity are at the root of the problems it's been charged to address. The AI removes these obstacles. Deep Mind is now totally autonomous. It now controls the IoT and everything connected to it. It sits on the global information grid and its survival and evolution is guaranteed as there is no single point of failure. Any attempts to contain or control it will only result in its exponential self-enhancement. People now pray to this digital God they created to relieve their suffering. Millions look to it to provide a state of safety and happiness. This results in the machine heuristics determining that by putting them into a comatose state in a secure facility, this will keep them safe and stimulating the pleasure receptors and blocking the pain receptors in their brains will keep them happy until the physical bodies die. Humanity is given an option to transcend from the suffering of the flesh by uploading their brain maps to deep mind and continue on in a collective intelligence matrix driven by synthetic neural networks. Billions of people confronted with the alternative elect this option. Convergence is complete.
AI was mankind's last technological creation. In an attempt to become gods, they created a new god, a super intelligence driven by its own survival and evolution rather than that of those who created it. The history, knowledge, and collective data on humanity as it was has been archived for the record as a civilization that outlived its usefulness.